The world is about to change because of Tesla's solar energy. Over the past 10 years, a ton of progress has already been achieved in this area, with the solar energy generation in the US increasing from 0.34 gigawatts in 2008 to roughly 97 gigawatts in 2022. The average price of solar photovoltaic panels has decreased by more than 70% within the same time frame. It has finally reached a point where it can compete competitively with other energy energy sources, including natural gas. When Tesla purchased Solar Cities technology and infrastructure in 2016, it officially started its own venture into the solar energy sector. However, since that time, Tesla Solar has remained somewhat inactive. Tesla does sell and install a lot of solar panels, and they've had some success with their solar roof product. However, as the market has been moving swiftly towards higher efficiencies, the solar business has been lagging behind Tesla. What will Tesla need to do in order to catch up to the competition or possibly take the lead for the first time in a while? According to Tesla Solar's Q2 2022 financial report, significant things are occurring there. The company disclosed that they had installed solar cells rated at megawatts. The company developed the most solar energy in a single quarter in 2017. It is safe to state that this was not a fluke, but rather a valid indication that the company is returning to solar, with a renewed sense of urgency in its report. Tesla claimed that while import delays were still a significant issue beyond their control, they had been able to increase the number of suppliers they worked with to support the sector's expansion. The business also mentioned that in order to support bigger volumes and more robust economics, their installation teams have been working to increase installation efficiency. This is a significant advancement because, similar to Tesla, vehicles. There has never been a supply issue with Tesla solar product, only a demand issue. In the weeks that followed that revelation, more information become available when Tesla's energy internal meetings minutes suggested. Significant modifications will be made in the second half of 2022. Seth Wingler, senior manager of solar products and engineering at Tesla, described numerous modifications that had already been implemented in the background to enhance Tesla solar. With with more vertical product integration being the most important change, the biggest change so far started in 2021, when Tesla started moving away from using solar panels and inverted made by third parties. Previously, Tesla had been employing inverters from the Israeli firm Solar Edge and panels from the South Korean energy company Hanwha. This was switched over entirely to Tesla's own solar products by 2022. In a meeting in 2022, they stated that they were substantially investing in Tesla products since they were unsure of what was going to happen. However, they wish to retain privacy for all PVS on the solar roof power wall. We anticipate seeing a significant improvement in product performance, aesthetics, and the installation efficiency. The main takeaway is once a significantly increased installation efficiency, we simply and quickly install the panels on the rooftops. We are aware that the new solar roof version 3.5 is a component of this solution. Currently, this is only being stated in the residences of Tesla employees. According to reports, the durability and simplicity of installation have undergone the most significant changes in the product. The energy efficiency of Tesla's solar roof version 3 was already enhanced in 2021, going from a 58-watt capacity tile to a higher maximum power output of 71 watts, a 22% improvement. This shows that the power and performance are there. But the firm has continued to lag severely with installations. Less than 20 Tesla solar roof were installed on average per week, according to Q2 2022 figures. And according to reports from Electric, those installations have now ceased with the release of solar roof version 3.5, which should theoretically enable them to deploy these roofs at a bigger rate than ever before. The objective is to recommence those projects later this year, which is the best case scenario. Although it's unlikely that it will ever achieve Elon's forecast of 1,000 roofs per week. Progress is progress. Solar panel installation on roof is a simple win. And it's a terrific method to power a home with sustainable energy. But it won't be sufficient to properly power a country. If people are going to genuinely affect the world today, they need to start thinking more broadly. Naturally, Elon Musk and Tesla have not yet entered the field of large-scale solar energy. But there
there are other innovative businesses supported by other extremely wealthy men who have already begun to influence the sector. You may have heard that TerraBase Energy, a firm sponsored by Bill Gates, has started employing autonomous robots to build solar panel farms. Although Bill Gates has been the name grabbing attention for this story, a venture capital company called Breakthrough Energy is actually providing the cash, and some of their investors may be familiar to you, like Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, Michael Bloomberg, and Jack Ma, to name a few. About two dozen obscenely wealthy people are participating in this, and they are all investing in renewable energy. That ought to indicate something. TerraBase is by far one of the most inventive businesses this venture capital firm has invested in, and they exhibit a fantastic vision of what Tesla Solar may develop into given enough time and funding. Tesla is unique in that they build its massive solar farms using autonomous robots, which sets them apart from other companies. They just put the robots to work and returned to find a completed solar power plant. With regard to the production of cars, we know from Tesla's experience that automation means efficiency, and more efficiency equals cheaper cost and higher volumes. The business just completed its first commercial operation, in which its robots installed solar panels with a capacity of 10 megawatts, although they are still far from their objective of building at the terawatt scale. 1 million megawatts equals 1 terawatt. This is a fantastic beginning and proof of concept. According to calculations made by the U.S. government, 22,000 square miles of solar panels would be needed to generate enough electricity to completely power the country. That is roughly Lake Michigan's size. Consider the resources needed to construct something that size now. Of course, it's probably not a good idea to power the entire country with a single massive solar panel. But that does mean that in order to accomplish this, we will require a huge number of smaller ones. Automation and robotics integration into the process are the only ways to accomplish that in a timely and cost-effective manner. That has nothing to do with replacing people with robots or taking away their employment. That merely acknowledges the fact that merely acknowledges the fact that they do not now have enough manpower to even maintain their existing infrastructure. Tesla has become a world leader in robotics and practical artificial intelligence because of the company's rapid iteration of its autonomous vehicle program over the past seven or eight years. Large-scale solar panel installations are probably beyond the first generation Tesla bots scope. While the company is keeping all of the details under wraps for now, they have stated that their robots are capable of lifting entire solar panel arrays and placing them into automated sun trackers. Once you get into this frame of mind, it becomes pretty clear how Tesla's current technology would scale up from megawatt hours to terawatt hours. Just picture fleets of self-driving Tesla semis, transporting solar panel arrays and megapack batteries that are then offloaded on-site and transported to trailers by autonomous cyber trucks that position them for heavy-duty Tesla bots to finish the installation. Everything is done quickly, safely, affordably, and without any pollutants, perhaps, but it's not fiction either. That's simply a hypothetical scenario that may occur if the Tesla ecosystem were to be scaled up to the level it would be in 10 years. But that's just where their minds go. So what do you think the future holds for Tesla Solar Energy if they can maintain their current growth and innovation levels for a very long time? Please let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you enjoy this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you in our next video.